let's do some drawing. Today we're going to draw a female face. So let's get started. Open up your sketchbook and let's go ahead and trace your mixed media pad. This is going to give us an outline so that we can practice working on this size um, paper because eventually we're going to be doing a project on the mixed media paper so it's the same size. All right, so we're going to start by tracing our large circle template. We're going to place it so that it is mostly above the halfway point. Trace that nice and lightly so that you can easily erase the lines that you don't use. Next, we're going to take our handy dandy proportion divider. And what we want to do is to measure the full distance of our circle so that we can find out what radius is and put a mark down below indicating the chin. So we can put the button in one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth hole. That means that when we open our proportion device, the long tips will measure the full circle. And without squeezing the legs, if we move over to the short legs, they indicate half the length of the circle or the radius. So we can pull that down and give ourselves a little indication of where the chin would be. Now we can put our proportion device to the side and we can make our chin. So we're going to, from the outside of the circle, we're going to come down a little ways and then we're going to bring the chin down to um, our little our little line that we marked so it's going to come down a little ways and then it's going to curve down like that we're making a female face and the jawline is a little bit thinner than the a male I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this extra line in here. So feel free to, as you are drawing, if you want to make little corrections or little changes, feel free to do that. Now that we have the jawline and the top of the head, we can go ahead and erase this bottom part of the circle. We don't need that anymore. And then let's go ahead and draw a very light line down the center. You can either freehand it right down the center of her face, dividing the right and left sides, or you can take any straight edge and put her chin and maybe make a little mark up at the top and give yourself a little line down the middle. That'll help you um, keep her symmetrical. So let's go ahead and make some marks. So between the top of the head and the bottom of the chin, the distance between those two divided in half is where the eyes will go. So we're going to use our proportion device again. We're going to open it up, measure the full distance from the top of the head down to the chin with the long legs. And then when we flip it over, since it's in the sixth um, circle, then that'll give us the halfway point. So halfway, this is the halfway point. We can even test that. So if we bring that line across, that 
is going to be our eye line. Then we can um, draw another line. It is halfway between the eye line and the chin. So we can take our proportion device again and measure from the eye line to the chin, flip it over. And since our button is in the sixth hole, that will show us the halfway point. This is the nose line. We can do the same thing again, measuring from the nose line to the chin, and then flip it over again, and that'll give us the halfway point. That's the bottom of the mouth. Bottom of mouth. Okay, so let's go ahead and start laying in these, uh, the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So we're going to, um, the eyes tend to be, a, the head tends to be five eyes wide. And so if we want to divide by five, then we're going to move our button down to the second hole. And then when we measure the overall width of the face at the eye line and flip it over, then it should be one, two, let's see, one, two, three. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over and straddle between the right and left side so that the uh, midline is right in the middle. Give ourselves a couple of little tick marks and then um, give us tick marks on either side so that we have eyes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make almond shaped eyes. tear duct and we can go ahead and um, add the eye line that's above we can add the eye itself the pupil and these radial lines trying to keep that um, eye so that it's big enough that part of it goes underneath the eyelid so she has her eyes open but not um, shockingly kind of surprised look. The eyebrows, um, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a couple of lines to help us with the eyebrows. So the eyebrow starts just above the eye and it comes out at an angle here and um, for uh, feminine looking eye, uh, eye brow. We're going to start low and then come up high and have an arch. And it's a pretty thin eyebrow. It's a little thicker um, toward the center. We're going to try to do the same thing on the left. It's always tough to be symmetrical, so giving yourself a couple of little guidelines is really a good idea. Okay, so it's going to come up 
and then arch around. And the center is a little bit thicker and then a little thinner on the outside. Great, so we're going to go ahead and erase some of these guidelines so that it looks a little bit more normal. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and bring down guidelines from the center of the eyes down, straight down, really light because we're going to be erasing these. Where our nose is, we're going to bring that up the center of the nose up just a little bit. And let's make this, make these nostrils and a little hammock in between. give a little a little indication up here of where the nose is and then erase those guidelines and the lips the bottom of the lips are actually going to come up just a little bit um, and uh, just to the inside of the eyes if we bring our guidelines down just to the inside of the eyes then um, the lips themselves are going to sit in here. And we make these almost like a couple of mountains. Make that lower lip like so. And then we're going to put this little line in between. Like so. Give her a little indication of a chin. And her hairline is going to be about a um, the same as from her, the bottom of uh, the mouth to the um, chin. We can do that same measurement by taking um, our halfway, oops, we have to move our button back so that it is in the sixth hole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put our button back, slide it in place, and then that'll help us divide from the eyes to the top of the um, head is here and then divide that again from the top of the head to uh, where that was and then one more and this is the hairline kind of a soft hairline um, it's a female, so she's not going to have um, sideburns per se. And just like leave her like this for a minute. Kind of looks like she's got a swim cap. Um, her eyebrows, or uh, rather her ears, are going to be from the top of her head to her chin. And on both sides. Funny, funny ears. So you might have noticed that the measurements for male and female are very similar in terms of the eyes are still in the middle of the head. The nose is almost down halfway from there. The um, mouth is almost 
down halfway from there, but the jawline is significantly more narrow and the eyebrows are significantly more uh, thin and the neck itself also thinner. So coming off of the jaw, something like that. And then her um, shoulders would come out from there. Something like that. And if she has some kind of shirt, maybe she has a t-shirt or maybe it's a tank top, something like that. You can give her jewelry, you can put a bow in her hair. There's so many things that you can do. Let's go ahead and give her some hair so that we've got something uh, on her head. Uh, right now she looks kind of like an alien and is kind of bald. Let's go ahead and give her um, some sweeping bangs. So if you can imagine that her uh, part would be here and the sweeping bangs could do something like that. On this side, it could sweep around too. And this is the actually the top of her skull, so we need to give her a little bit more um, hair sitting on top because there's some thickness to that. And Or any kind of haircut that we want. I'm just gonna give her a little a little bob here. Okay. Alright, now you can take your 6B and start shading in um, some of that hair. Now, if we think of it in terms of not just uh, necessarily if she has blonde hair or brunette hair, but if we think of it in terms of um, where the highlights are, where the light is hitting, if the light is hitting up here, then this area is going to be a little bit brighter. So I'm going to shade in the area that would be furthest away from the sun, furthest away from the light source. And then I'm just going to give an indication of where her part would be. And then shade down. Now we can take our Q-tips and we can do a little bit of blending on that hair. Soften it up, blend it a little bit. Now, small things matter where her eyebrows are for instance maybe it's making her look a little bit mad but we can change that like for instance if we adjusted the eyebrows just a little bit then it would make her look less mad So that should help her make help make her look a little bit less mad, right? If the eyes are just a little bit more open, um, then she might look more surprised. Go 
don't want to lose that little line. We could give her some eyelashes and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you can see. So one thing to remember with eyelashes is, is that if this is the eye, then the eyelashes, imagine that the center of the eye is um, kind of a string and that all of the lashes um, relate to that string, but you don't want to make it into a cartoon. You want to have your eyelashes be coming out from that source. I don't know if you could see that or not. Okay, so let's give her some eyelashes. It's easiest if you have a pencil with a good point on it. And then since this is the circle of her eye, the eyelashes are going to be coming out like spokes um, away from that. But they're also going to be a little bit curved. So I'm going to heavy up the top lid and add just a little bit of shading underneath that. And then I'm going to give her some eyelashes And just kind of natural, not too crazy. A size two. Okay, now we can shade the top lip. And we can, with the Q tip that already has some um, graphite on it, we can do some simple shading. The an area underneath her eyebrow is going to be in shade because that eyebrow bone is actually keeping the light from hitting that part of the eye. There might even be just a little bit underneath the eye as well, up against that um, nose. So the light's coming from here. So that nose is going to provide shade. And we can add some more over here. There's usually under the eye this like triangle area that is highlighted that the light tends to get and if it seems like we did a little bit too much we can always come back and lighten it up try again. At the temples, there tends to be some uh, shading there and on the neck. Not the whole neck, just the side that is against. It's on the opposite side of your light source. I love this part. This is my favorite part, the shading, because it doesn't take a whole lot. And I have another Q-tip in here that has some graphite on it. So it doesn't take a whole lot of shading, but it sure makes a big difference. Shade the ears. And you can do all kinds of things. You can, uh, you could add a bow, you could add a little, uh, little hair clip 
Maybe she has a little hair clip in here that has some kind of little something on it. We can do some deductive. Uh, so we can like erase out and then add a little. Maybe it's a little like a little butterfly. butterfly hair clip something like that you could give her earrings she could have hoops again you can use your eraser to erase out like a little highlight and then you could give her hoops maybe all right great job guys as I'm looking at my girl, I feel like, like her mouth is too small. So I'm just going to come in here and take another look at that. You can decide what you think you need to do. So just by making a, a slight change, it doesn't take a lot, but that looks like um, just changed it just a little bit and it feels a little closer to what would work with her face. Also did a little bit of shading right in here because this cheek kind of shade at that little um, area right next to her nose. And maybe give her a little curl here. Shape this part of her head so that it comes in a little bit at her temple. Make sure that her ear doesn't disappear. Strengthen her jaw just a little bit. Awesome. Well done, guys.